This is a primary pump. We're pumping water at 80 degrees C. Pumping the water up through this strainer into this low loss header, which has got the flow going off to the secondary pumps and the return coming back there. The customer has an issue that the secondary pumps here, they're only achieving 60 degrees C. These pumps here, and they couldn't work out why when the water going around the primary circuit was at 80 degrees C, these were at 60 degrees C. We then observed that these pumps have the capability of pumping 427 meters cubed an hour and the primary pumps have the capability of pumping 233 cubes an hour. So these pumps are pumping their 233 cubes an hour into this part of the low loss header and being sucked out of there is the 427 meters cubed an hour so clearly it needs additional water. What it's doing is drawing in the colder water from the return down the low loss header the wrong way and sucking it in, giving them a combined water temperature of about 60 degrees C. To help this situation improve it, we've increased the speed of the pump up to 54 hertz, which has given us a six degrees temperature increase to 66 degrees C on the secondary pumps. The customer's now gonna switch on the second pump head so it works as a duty assist system to see if the increased flow actually provides sufficient water at 80 degrees C to make the secondary system work.